Hey, Bruce. I'm Mr. Cerner reporting from the BTV studio. Today is Monday, December 14th. Only four more school days remain until the winter break. Let's take a look at today in history. In 1799, George Washington, the American Revolutionary leader and first president of the United States, died at his estate in Mount Vernon, Virginia. He was 67 years old. Among his historic moments, General Washington defeated one of the most powerful nations on earth, leading to the surrender of the massive British Army at Yorktown, Virginia. Now on to current news. Kudos to Brennan JROTC cadets who partnered with Macy's to help write 1,500 letters to Santa. They helped raise $3,000 for the Make-A-Wish Foundation, which helps create wishes for critically ill children. Way to go, Brennan JROTC. Brennan Orchestra will have its winter concert this Wednesday at 7 p.m. The concert will be live streamed on the Brennan Orchestra YouTube channel and can be viewed by Brennan faculty, staff, and students. Please join them for an evening of holiday music and cheer. Should be a great night of fantastic music. Bears, remember, your first semester exams began today with periods one and four. Exams for period two and five are tomorrow, and periods three and six are on Wednesday. Period seven is Thursday, and period eight is on Friday. Hope you do well. In addition to exam week, Student Council presents Holiday Spirit Week. Today is Holiday Mask Day. Do you add ornaments to your favorite holiday mask? Tuesday, team up with a friend for Holiday Twin Day, and Wednesday is Ugly slash Fun Sweater Day. Thursday is Holiday Socks or Traditional Holiday Colors Day, and we wrap it up on Friday with Holiday Headgear slash Spirit Day. Have some fun and participate. However, let's remember, the dress code still applies. Want to help out an NISD student for the holidays? NISD Threads has a list of clothing items that students have requested. Through the spirit of the season, they'll magically show up under their Christmas tree to make that student's special request come true. NISD Threads, a state and federal program, is a clothing closet housed at the Northside Family Engagement Center. For more information, call 210-397-8930. This past Friday night, our Bears decisively defeated the Del Rio Rams 48-0. Way to go. Next up are the Edinburgh Villa Sabercats at Buccaneer Stadium in Corpus Christi. Let's get out and support them Friday at 7 p.m. for the Class 6A Division II second round playoff game. Let's take a look at highlights of the Bears' win this past Friday. Uh, the plan has come out and execute the game plan to the utmost of our ability. Uh, hopefully we start fast, start strong, uh, shut them out on defense here, uh, get the ball to our offense, try to score you know, right off the top and, and, and just never turn back from there. So hopefully we can just dominate the game from the beginning. That's the plan. Hopefully we can make it happen. Bears, 
Quarterback Etienne Dubois has been nominated as the John Wayne Player of the Year. Yes, year. Voting is open and ends December 31st. You can vote every hour for the rest of the month. Vote by going to https colon slash slash potg dot dot com. Vote every hour. A Lady Bears basketball team played Saturday against the Warren Lady Warriors and sadly lost 60-53. to 53. Let's get out and support them next Tuesday at noon against Stevens at the Northside Sports Gym. And don't forget the health screenings. Our Bears basketball team faced Harlan at Taylor Field House last week, and unfortunately, they lost 89-62. Let's get out and support them Friday at 7.30 p.m. as they play against Clemens here at Brennan. And don't forget the health screening. Bears, we need to continue to wear a face mask and to social distance. Texas COVID-19 cases kind of passed the 1.48 million mark, and Bear County has more than 94,000 cases. Health officials, as well as our administrators, continue to emphasize these are the most effective and easiest ways to help reduce your risk of contracting the COVID virus. Also, remember to wash your hands often. Let's be safe and keep our guard up. Well, this is all I have for today. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at BTV Bears. And if you missed any part of this broadcast, catch us on YouTube by searching for BTV Bears. If you have any announcements for BTV, please email me, Mr. Cerna, at fernando.cerna at nisd.net. I'm Mr. Cerna, signing off from BTV. Stay safe, stay engaged in learning, have a great exam day. Have a great exam week, Bears. This is a BTV production.